Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And today we're going to teach you a new game called Half, More or Less. Now to play this game, all you need is a deck of regular cards. We've taken out, um, so you need the cards of 1 to 10. So if you've got a normal deck of cards, you'd be going ace to 10. We're using school friendly cards. So remove all the picture cards. Um, and then you need paper and something to write with. Now we're going to use a whiteboard and whiteboard markers, but paper and pencil will work fine as well. Are right, ready to play, Nash? Uh huh. So the way the game works is it's about fractions. So to start with, you rule out, you deal out a, car, a three by three grid like this of cards. Here's nine, and here's a square number. Here's three, three. Yes. Now, um, th then whoever's going first, and Nash, do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. So they decide whether we're trying to make fractions that are larger than a half or smaller than a half. Okay, now the rule is then that it can't be exactly a half and it can't be an improper fraction. Okay, so it's got to be, um, we're only dealing with proper fractions. All right. Smaller than a half. Smaller than a half. Okay, now because Nash is going first, he nominates whether we're going larger or smaller and he gets to have the first turn. One, two. Okay, so now we've got this paper here just to make it clear for us what the fraction is. One so one eighth. Okay, so Nashi, one eighth is smaller than a half, so you can take it and keep it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do uh, four tenths. Yes. Yeah, happy with that? So I get to keep it. Is there anything else you can do, Nash? Two thirds. Okay. Now. This is great, Nash. Actually, no. No, Nash, you did two thirds. So let's. So when when someone does a fraction, if you're not happy with it, you can challenge it. Okay. So Nash, I'm going to challenge. Now the way a challenge works is like this. It's now up to Nash and I to prove whether two thirds is bigger than a half or smaller than a half. And this is where the paper and pencil comes in. And this is a really important part of the game which is this sort of reasoning, understanding about what fractions look like. So Nashi, so your fraction is two thirds. So can you tell me what would that look like on a rectangle? Uh, okay, can I, can I do, can you tell me and I'll do it? Three, three equal parts? Yeah. Okay, so maybe about there and about there. Yeah. And colour it in two. Okay, and then colour in two. Now, with apologies for my uh, inaccurate drawing. So, Nashi, is that bigger or smaller than a half? Uh, I don't know. So, okay, so Nashi, let's say that's two thirds. Let's say if I drew a half down below. So, I'll draw another rectangle here. I'll try and make it the same size. So, would you agree that that, that shows a half? Yeah. Okay, so which is... So which is bigger, Nash, the two thirds or the half? Two thirds. Okay. So were you right or incorrect? Incorrect. Now, in that situation where he's incorrect, he made the he made the fraction, but I get to keep the cards. Okay. All right. Uh, and I am going to pack. Uh, no, no, no. I'll show you what happens with that next time. Next time around, we'll do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to pass. I don't think there's anything else we can do smaller than a half. Me too. Now, when we've both had a pass, the turn's over. So that means we pick oh, these cards up, they go to the bottom of the deck, and we deal out a new grid. Now, Nash, who goes first this time? Daddy! Right, and because I go first, I get to choose whether I want to go larger or smaller than a half. Now, there is some strategy involved, obviously. I can look at the cards and work out what's my best bet. Oh. But uh, in terms of, do you want me to do larger, Nash, or do you want to, I'll go larger. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do larger than a half, and I am going to do, uh, I'll do five sixths. Okay, Nash, are you happy with five sixths? Yep. Okay, so I get to keep it. Okay, what are you going to do, Nash? Nine. Ten. Okay, now, to illustrate something in the game, I'm going to challenge Nash. Alright, so I'm going to challenge. I say, I don't think nine tenths is bigger than a half. It is. Okay, so let's do, so again, we get our board out here. And so we're trying to link the, 
the notation with understanding what the fraction looks like. So Nashi, let's write here. So we're looking at nine tenths, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if I draw us a rectangle, can you tell me what I need to do with the rectangle? Split it into nine. No, ten. Into ten equal rectangles. Equal pieces, yeah? Okay, now again, my drawing's not perfect, is it, Nash? Okay, and now what do I need to do? Colour in nine. So that's the part, that's the size that we're talking about, right? So it's nine of these pieces. Five, uh, eight, nine. Okay, now I can straight away see this is bigger than a half, isn't yes. it? Yes. Because if I, if I was to draw a half down below, like, so I could draw another rectangle, and if I was to cut it in half, now how do I draw two upside down? That's a bit tricky. Okay, so there's a half, right, Nash? Yeah. So you tell me, how do you know nine tenths is bigger than a half? Because it's we're in nine and not not a half, not not a whole, but about one less than a whole. Yeah, but how do we know it's bigger than a half? Uh, because that would be a half. Uh, how many tenths would be a half? One, two, five. Yeah, so five tenths would be a half. So six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. We can see that's going to be bigger than a half. Yeah. Okay. okay, now, because I incorrectly challenge, what happens is Nash gets to keep his cards because you didn't make a mistake. Yeah. But because I challenge and it was an unnecessary challenge, I now have to give Nash one of my cards. Yeah. Okay, so that's how the challenges work. So when you challenge... There's um, always a price to be paid whether you're right or wrong. Okay, so my turn, Nash. Yep. Okay, so bigger than a half, I'm going to go seven ninths. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I get them. I go pass. And I'm going to pass. Now, Nashi, we could do. You could say two two halves. Yeah. But two halves would be the same. Oh. Yeah, the same as a whole. And that, that's not a legitimate fraction. So it's got to be less than a whole, but bigger than a half. And that would be the same as a whole. So we both pass. So that means that round is over. And the way the game goes is we keep playing until the deck is no longer able to put nine cards out. Once we get to the stage where we can't start a round with nine, then the game would be over. And at the end, actually, how do we decide the winner? We just count these cards. Do you want to count them now quickly? Yeah. No, 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 you just, you just, that would be another way to score. You could do it like that, but you just count it. Like, like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So I'm winning at the moment, but the game's actually not over. But we can stop filming because so people can go and actually play it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. And we'll see you next time.